G'day, my name's Phil and I'm an expert guitarist, but I'm definitely not a DIY expert. And according to those lovely people at DIY Blinds, it doesn't matter at all, as you don't need to be one to measure and install your shutters. So if you've got your instrument ready, let's get jamming. The first step before measuring your windows is to decide whether you want your shutters to sit on the inside of the window frame as a recess fit or on the outside of the frame as a face fit. Once you've worked out which fits right for you, it's time to select your shutter frames. The small L frame is great for most square windows, but if you're into something that'll be groovier, check out the DIY Blinds Frame Guide. Check out our frame guide to work out if you want a full frame or a three-sided frame. Now, let's check if your corner windows have been installed at 45 or 90 degree angles. If you're worried they're not joined together at 45 degrees, you can make sure by folding a piece of A4 paper like this and placing it into the corner. If both sides are flush with your window, it's a 45 degree angle. Checking if it's a 90 degree angle is easier than playing an A chord. Just place a piece of A4 paper here and if it fits snugly, you know it is. Got your angles sorted? Great! Let's amp it up and get measuring. For a recess fit, measure the exact inside width of your window frame to where the windows meet. Do this on both windows, top and bottom. The smallest measurement is your shutter frame width. I'm dedicating this next measurement to Mary Nash. You know who you are. Measure the exact inside height of your recess on the left, middle and right hand side. The smallest measurement is your shutter frame drop. For a face fit, measure the exact outside width of your window frame across the top, middle and bottom. If your window doesn't have a frame and you're choosing a face fit, measure the total width of the window and add 40 mil to each window. That's about the same width as my stunning guitar neck. This extra amount takes care of your windows meeting in the middle. This is where the outside of the frame will sit and is your shutter frame width. And then, just like a great chorus, repeat the measurement for each window. For a face fit with a window frame, measure the outside height of your window frame from top to bottom across all your windows. If you have a window sill, you'll measure from the top of the frame down to the flat surface of the sill. If your window doesn't have a window frame and you're choosing a face fit, Measure your window height by taking three measurements, one from the left, middle and right, and add 80 mil. This is where the outside of your frame will sit and is your shutter frame drop. By the way, you'll need a mid rail for drops of more than 1500 mil, so measure from the bottom of where your shutter will sit to the midpoint of where you'd like the mid rail to be. For three or more panels, if your panels aren't all the same size, you'll need to measure for a T-post. This is an upright section of frame that the middle panels are hung from. Measure from the left inside edge where your shutter will sit to the midpoint where your T-post will be. Make sure you keep a note of where you want your panel hinges to go for each panel. Now you're all set to order your shutters. That's plucking amazing. If you feel like you're suffering from stage fright, just call us on 1300 918 390.